Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm taking a look at different devices and platforms and tools that I use uh, as a way to get my work done. One of the videos that I've had in the past is on Google Keep. I have a, a video on Keep and how I use it as a way to keep track of my work and use it as almost like digital sticky notes or post-it notes. Um, and one of the reasons why it's important for me and it's a valuable tool as it is with any of my tools is I want to make sure that I have ubiquitous access to my data and I want to make sure that I can be device agnostic because I pretty much have to cross train I have to use a lot of different devices at different times and so with Google Keep the the way that I achieve that is I use uh, Keep in my browser I use it on my Android phone but then I also at times have to pull out an Android uh, an iOS device either an iPhone or more likely an iPad um, so I, I always have an iPad in my classroom uh, in my classroom I'll have an iPad cart that students can use and I'll frequently log in and use that but then at the same time I have an iPad that I carry around in my bag at all times um, because I might need to uh, quickly pull out notes or use it for note-taking or if I give a keynote I'll pull out my iPad and use it um, or if I'm sitting in a classroom with students, I'll pull it out and show them how to do stop motion animation or, or whatever. Um, so Google Keep on the iPad is a valuable tool for me if I'm using it um, to sort of review my notes for the day. So it's real easy to, to pull it out on, iP on the iPad and the iPhone. Um, and once again, I have other videos that are out there looking at Google Keep and how I set up Google Keep. So if we take a look at what this thing looks like on an iPad, and once again, this will still work on your uh, iPhone, but for me, I have an iPad um, that I use pretty regularly in and out of classes. Um, sometimes if I need to, you know, I'll sit in it at the end of the day and I'll be reading, or first thing in the morning, I'll read things on my iPad, um, and I might check in with my notes um, on Google Keep there. So if I pull up my Google folder, I can pull up Google Keep. And once again, a lot of the notes that we have, um, that I have saved in Google Keep, are already here and already accessible for me. So I can sort of skim through and see different things that I want to be able to talk about or write about. So I have, you know, this was a list that I put together um, as I was developing my series of posts and videos about WordPress, things that I wanted to address. Um, I have different pieces in here. I have syllabi and publications that I want to make sure that I keep track of. Um, and then once again, I have audio notes that I've taken in the past. And these are audio notes that were created on my Android device, in my car, on the way into work. I was listening to a podcast and now I save it and I can at any point go back and use this. So once again, if I basically play this thing. So this is um, pretty low and it's not pinging up on the mic, but you get the, the idea of it. Um, so the nice thing is that I can uh, review my notes and process my notes while I'm here. I can also, of course, take notes just the same way that I would do with Android. I don't like the spell check and the keyboard as much on uh, on iOS and the iPad as I do on Android. Um, pretty much just, just because I'm so used to using it over on the other device. What I can also do is I can, once again, add a reminder to this. So I can pick date, time, place uh, to remind me that this thing has to occur. Um, and the nice thing is on Android, as it is with iOS, your iPhone and your iPad, it'll pop up a little notification letting you know that your reminder has basically uh, tried to get your attention. I can add a title. I can archive this note. I can also start up new notes as a list. Um, so once again, I can say that I need apples. I need uh, bread. And I need milk from the store. You know, pretty simple. So I can leave myself a note. Um, if needed, I could uh, share this note with uh, my wife so that we can make sure that we don't, uh, you know, overlap in what we're buying. Um, or we can basically save a collaborative note across the week for things that we need to, to make sure that we pick up. And once again, we could save 
this note so that this basic this note pops up on our devices when we're at the store so it does have some geolocation built into it and then I can also add all of the different colors and the labels and and everything else that I need to um, right from the app I can add images I don't know how many images I have on this device so I can add images um, so these are different screenshots these are pictures that I drew um, in the paper app for a blog post about blockchain so I can add in images to my posts and then once again the the killer for me on Google Keep is the audio recording so I can well I can add in the drawing piece let's see if this works better than my earlier one on Android so I can save a drawing um, so I can sketch out things on the iPad I find that sketching out and, and drawing with a stylus on a tablet is a little bit easier than a phone I've had a note uh, the note 3 in the past and um, I tried to do sketching on that but I feel like I need more screen space um, and so the tablet or bigger devices definitely help with that but the killer for me is the ability to audio record so if I want to sort of record that again because it didn't really pick up well the killer app for me on Google Keep you know using Google Keep on the iPad is the ability to record audio notes I can quickly take a note and save it without damaging something as I text and drive I didn't get that last part but we all get the idea there so it's gonna save that audio note and as you can see it's quickly transcribing the audio um, you know getting the text out of the audio and it's pretty nice I, I've tried to sort of hack my way through Google Keep and if I need transcription of some interview data, uh, what I can sometimes do is I'll I'll play the the audio recording of the interview and have a device like an iPad nearby and turn on Google Keep and let it record. The problem with it is that if there's any delay or if there's a pause in the recording, it will stop the note. Um, so that is one of the negatives um, in in what I'm trying to do. So. Once again, I can get into all my notes and the trash and everything else and see all of my notes. I can access my notes, pretty much do everything else that I do um, in the browser with Keep. And, and I view these as different post-it notes. So I can quickly say that I, you know, I took care of these different things. And then when I'm done with it, I can archive the note and I don't really worry about it ever again. Um, the iPad now has some form of widgets. So if I pull over to the side, um, you know, here's my main screen. If I pull to the side, I can pull up, you know, the same ability to quickly get into a drawing or an audio note. So I can draw uh, another, you know, quick face with this. I can add in different pieces. Um, and it's an easy way, a relatively easy way to get into your notes quickly. Um, there still is the ability to add audio and stuff like that. So it's a little bit nice. It's nice to have that functionality built into the iPad now and the iOS devices. Um, but once again, my primary use of Keep is through my Android device. If I use the iPad, it's in the morning when I'm reading something first thing in the morning. I might pull out the iPad, quickly go to to Keep and see notes. Um, but for the most part, I use my Android device. But it is available on the iPad, on the iOS devices, on your iPhone. Um, so it's a very powerful tool. So once again, we're talking about Google Keep. We're looking at Keep on iOS devices. That's your iPad, your iPhone. Um, and it's an opportunity for you to keep those digital post-it notes, save that multimodal information, save little post-it notes with text, images, audio, um, you know, save that content, quickly capture that content wherever you are, so be like a, a little digital ethnographer, say that information and access it wherever you want to go. So that's Google Keep. By all means, if this video is helpful for you, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me comments. Um, give me some sort of feedback. Uh, let me know if this was valuable to you. Thanks again.